All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Sorry for the... Hmm, I don't know why it's... The camera's glitching out that much. Let me switch to... There we go. That'll glitch out. Hopefully not at all. Okay. Well, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Shashan Kalanathi. I uh, am a senior data analyst, and I do these live streams every Thursday in order to just help people uh, break into the world of analytics and answer whatever questions you might have. So uh, last week, I was actually a bit sick, so that's why I wasn't able to attend. Hello, hello. You're ball developer from Kazakhstan. Awesome, awesome. Jason, great to see you again. Balakrishna, your ball. Uh, Yella, Edwin, Udwait. Great to see everyone. Great to see everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. We are at 96,000 subscribers now. We just need 4,000 more before I can get that, uh, that plaque from uh, YouTube. So make sure you tell your friends. Hello, Zubair. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, uh, okay, it looks like I got a message soon. So uh, let's, see, well, let's see what questions we have. Let's see if I can uh, answer any questions right now. Oh, okay, can you uh, explain how impacts SQL in data analyst life? Um, so SQL, otherwise known as structured querying language, is uh, probably the primary, the primary language used by all people who work in data. Anyone that works in data really should know SQL. And uh, what you do with SQL is you regularly use it to uh, transform data and combine data from different data sources into like a single thing that you can use uh, for your um, uh, analysis. Usually you use it to get your data ready for analysis. Uh, you know, get it all together in one clean table. That way you can analyze it usually in something like Python. All right, what else do we have here? How to increase interest in data analytics. So, uh, Saurabh, when you say that, like, what do you mean? Like, on your team, for yourself? Uh, what, what are you talking about when you say increase interest in data analytics? Sudhir so Murugasan. Uh, I'm actually so happy to finally get on your live. Your content should be on courses you did me, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I was thinking about putting something on Udemy one day, um, you know, one, one day. Well, I'm, I'm trying to think of like a course that is kind of different, you know, because like my Python course and everything, the unfortunate thing is I don't think I could put it on Udemy because it's kind of short. And the whole goal of that is that it is short. That way it actually answers uh, the questions that people have um, as quickly as possible. But thank you so much. Zaheer, um, I have a Python course you should check out on my YouTube channel. That's how you start it. That's how you start. Zubair, uh, what's the uh, analyst for your... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we should do... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a um, project with that one day. Yeah, we'll definitely do a project with that. Dipancho Goyal. I have so much interest in data analytics and love to work on SQL, but have no experience in that. Uh, well, that's exactly what the uh, projects we do on my channel are uh, all about. So if you check out the last video I did, it's kind of a project that you can follow along and work on the SQL and everything behind, um, you know, what it's like to be a data analyst. Zaheer, how is your health? Uh, thank you so much for checking. So for anyone that's not aware, last week I had COVID. Um, I feel a lot, a lot better this week. Um, I'm not sick anymore, but I'm just kind of uh, uh, a little bit fatigued is probably the best way to put it. But uh, yeah, no, I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you. Is freelancing viable? Uh, yes, 100%. Freelancing, um, I used to do it actually with uh, uh, Upwork. And uh, luckily, YouTube ended up being a lot more lucrative. So I'm focusing more on that. But freelancing is definitely uh, a viable thing to do. Uh, Datacamp, thoughts on Datacamp? I think Datacamp is great. Um, 
it's a great place to start. It's a great place to build up your skills. Eventually, you want to get uh, working on like um, real data sets and stuff like that. More, you want to do more Kaggle work eventually. But I think Data Camp's a great place to go get started. All right, guys. So in about six minutes, I have to go head out uh, for a um, another meeting that I have. So that uh, boot camp that I'm running, I have another meeting associated with that right now. So I have to head out in about six minutes. But next week, we'll be back on like the regular schedule where I'm like here at uh, 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific. So... Shashank Tripathi, okay, can I get a job in analytics with Power BI and SQL? I, I would think so, that's how I got started. And quite honestly, a lot of, like, amongst data analysts, that's kind of like what's expected to be known. Um, you're expected to like know SQL and uh, Power BI initially, and then from there, you know, you can go do, uh, you can go learn other skills. Um, but I would definitely say that's a viable way to start. So Sarab, how can I increase my interest in data science and analytics? Um, I guess it really depends on what you want, right? Like for me, there is this, uh, the, the motivation was very much like I wanted to build some like hard skills that would generate like a solid income for me and uh, keep me secure in my career. Um, and I liked analyzing things, right? So that, I, I think you have to find what is like your internal motivation. And for me, uh, a lot of it was like stuff like that, quite honestly. Uh, Bala Krishna, you got to be careful. You can't uh, spam the chat like that. So I got to put you on a timeout. But um, the uh, boot camp has already started. So th th there's only so many people that we could take in. So um, there's going to be another class in the future. Uh, so hopefully try signing up for that one later. But uh, ooh, Rissab, yeah, don't spam the chat. If you spam the chat, then I uh, have to um, you know cut you off. What are the top data analytics companies I should aim for? Um, well, probably the most selective uh, companies are, go are going to be the um, uh, FANG companies. So you're going to Google, Facebook, stuff like that. Um, there, are, there are companies that are more selective than they are. Uh, and quite honestly, I would see as more impressive. But those are kind of like the, the big guys. Weave course. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Zahir, please select one and why, Power BI or Tableau? Uh, Tableau because it works on Macs as well. Um, so for a lot of companies, Power BI is not, just not an option. So for example, if you have data analysts that uh, prefer Macs because they code, you just can't use Power BI to even begin with. Um, for an individual, I would say Power BI is a great place to start because it is free uh, or significantly cheaper than Tableau. But I, I would say Tableau is probably... Um, Consider the industry, I wouldn't say the industry standard, but it's kind of up there, I'd say. Okay, Sudhir Murugasan. So I'm an information systems undergrad major at an American college. Um, I am about to graduate in the fall, so just one semester left. I don't have any internships, to be honest. Any other tips? Um... I would honestly, I would keep gunning for those internships. Luckily, you know, if you're doing an undergrad, then you're, um, th then it's fine for you to keep gunning for an internship. I, and I would just keep applying, keep applying, keep applying. That's the only thing you really can do at this point. Um, work on your, um, d work hard to improve your resume. Go to the career center at your uh, university and specifically ask them, okay, I want this, these jobs over here, right? Go to them with like specific job, uh, app like job, uh, uh, requisitions uh, and say, I want this job, this job, this job. Here's what my resume looks like right now. What's the gap that's happening right now? Also ask and see if you, any of your professors have connections to um, corporations that they might be able to help you get an interview in. At the end of the day, if you're still in college, you still have an opportunity to um, exercise all of the resources the college has to get you a job, but you have to go and ask yourself. Ah, learn and grow. That's a that's a ban right there. Got to let's see. Remove learn and grow. Thank you so much for pointing that out, Shivam. Ishan, welcome, welcome, Ishan. Great to see you. Great to see you. I'm so happy to see all of you guys again. It's uh, been a solid two weeks since I've seen you guys. 
All right, so what else do we have here? Oh, uh, Ishan, okay. Uh, hey, Shanarka, I'm aspiring to become a machine learning engineer. Can you review my resume? Uh, yeah, um, go ahead and send it over to my email. I'll go ahead and take a look at it. And uh, yeah, see if I can get, uh, get back to you. All right, guys, so I do have to head out right now. <laughs> hey, Ken. Welcome, welcome. Um, Ken's joining as soon as I have to head out. But uh, thank you guys so much. It, today is a bit of a short one because I have to go attend. My, my boot camp has a uh, live session happening right now, and I actually delayed it for about 20 minutes to uh, do this. But, you know, as per usual, I'll be on here uh, at the regular time from 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific till 9 next week. So uh, be sure to come in next week, and I will be here for the full time.